So I know that in the last video I, I uploaded, the camera was like a little bit out of focus, which is so weird because I know what I'm doing with cameras and it looked totally fine on the viewfinder and it looked totally fine in my editing software, but then I uploaded it to YouTube and it looked kind of fuzzy, which is weird. And for some reason when I uploaded it to YouTube as well, the sound kind of became out of sync with the video. I don't know how that happened, but hopefully in this video, it's better. This is actually a video that was requested to me on Tumblr a little while ago, and I just kind of had been waiting until I had my new camera stuff to shoot it. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I really don't wanna do this video because it's so embarrassing. So many other people could do a what's in my bag video. It's like so cute, and they have this like re really nice bag and all these like nice things that they keep in it, but mine's maybe a little bit more relatable. So. What's in my bag? My bag is a uh, $17 bag from Walmart. And the reason that I don't buy expensive bags is because I wreck them. I wreck every bag I've ever had. <laughs> I just, like, if you look at the handle up here, there are coffee stains. And if you look on the back here, there are like all these marks. And then on the front, there are all these marks. So much like dirt marks and coffee stains and stains from my cat and pen marks so I don't buy I lo always look at the Kate Spade bags and I'm like oh so pretty but I'm just gonna wreck it the day after I get it anyway so why would I bother the reason I do love this bag though is because it's very pocket heavy so in the front here we have this pocket and we have this pocket so in this pocket is actually where I keep my bus pass and then in this pocket I keep nothing. I really thought I had something in my pocket, but I guess I don't. In the back, there's like a zippy part here. And in the zippy part, I keep my sunglasses so that I know that they're protected, they're away from everything else in my bag, and also so they're easy to grab. All right. Sometimes I forget how much I love these sunglasses. They're so fabulous. Look at them. Look at them. I bought these at uh, that store. Is it called Ardennes or Arden? I never know. Okay, so if we're considering this the front of the bag, there are two zippy parts in the front. So this is the front one and this is the back one, okay? Just because I can, then I can put the bag down. <laughs> so in the front zippy, we have the one item that I do have that is nicer quality. This is my wallet. Look how cute it is. I bought it from the store Bentley. Uh, they were doing like a sidewalk sale, so it was actually only 20 bucks. So inside of my wallet, in the front here, as you can tell, I have all the important things. My Starbucks card, my uh, VIB Rouge card, my Tim card, and then up here is my assortment of uh, credit cards and other store cards and that sort of thing. And then money goes in the bottom here, and it just closes, and it's got the little snappy. And then, yeah, I really, I, I love this wallet. It's like cute and adulty looking, and I wish I could get like a purse that matched it, but like I said... I would, I would wreck it. Also in the front here, I keep my wheelchair parking permit, uh, which is, as you know, the most important thing that I have to offer anybody. You laugh at that, but I did have a friend once tell me that the only reason he did anything with me ever is because I have the parking permit, so I mean. Headphones, a Best Buy receipt. What the hecky did I buy at Best Buy? Abomo. I have half of the Starbucks gift card that I got, but I already loaded the card onto my gold card, so I don't know why that's still in there. I have another thing. Oh, another receipt from Starbucks. I'm gonna throw that out too. This video was a great opportunity to clean up my bag, isn't it? Um, some napkins that are not used, so I won't throw them out, but I mean, hey, my front door key. And that's really it for the front pocket. Now we will carry on my wayward son into the other big pocket, which is the back, which is where I keep most of my junk. So here we have a fork in a bag, a fork and a knife and a spoon in a bag. So this is my bag of toiletries, if you will, that I keep in my bag. It says just girly things, and it has like all this weaponry, and it's all got cute little hearts on it. Actually, who designed this? Uh, her name is Angie, and if you're a big YouTube watcher, you would know her as ALB in Wonderland. She's one of the the big YouTubers. She got the pink hair. That's probably what you would know her as. Um, awkward and kind of funny situation here. I met uh, Angelina through our mutual friend Leslie and it was funny because the first time I ever met her I just I remember thinking she looks familiar but I have no idea who this girl is. <laughs> I'm such a noob and then I came home and I was like oh she's that girl that I always see gifts of on Tumblr and then I found her YouTube and I was like oh she's got 200,000 plus subscribers I'm an idiot but she's really nice and really great and I bought this bag from her at a convention I believe you can buy them on her Etsy though if you can I will link it down below because these bags are just so cute and they're really cushy so you know every, anything you put in it is safe and so yeah so in this bag I keep 
a little package of floss, a little package of Kleenex. Okay, but can we just look at this package of Kleenex for a second though? Like, look, it's like a little lip, lip gloss and a lipstick and some shoes, a lip balm, a little packet of green tea, because you never know when you're gonna need green tea. A little thing of lotion. This is the Pure Paradise one by uh, Bath and Body Works. I always need to have lotion on me because my hands are always so dry. My Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Blackberry Sorbet because I always need a dark lip color on me all the time. My Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner because you never know when you're gonna need to fix eyeliner. A hair elastic, some tampons. And finally, this little thing from e.l.f. It's actually a little package of blotting papers and if you open it up, there's a little like mirror inside and then this little sponge, and you can rip the little sticky thing off the sponge and stick it down to pick up a blotting paper and then use it and then rip it off and, you, do you know what I mean? Like it'll, this grabs the blotting paper for you and you can use this to grab ra rather than using your hands. It's not really necessary, but I think it's such a really cute little package. And then you can buy just the like cardboard container of uh, blotting papers from e.l.f. for a dollar. So after I bought this, I can just keep refilling it with their $1 packages and I will be set forever. So that is all that I keep in this little bag. Moving back into this drawer, I have my Ofra liquid lipstick in Havana Nights, their second collaboration with Kathleen Mites. Didn't realize I had so many lip colors in here. I have a little bottle of hand sanitizer as well. Oh, my CoverGirl Compact. This is their uh, CoverGirl Clean Oil Control Pressed Powder. This is my favorite. I tried a bunch of the CoverGirl Pressed Powders before and this is still the one that I always go back to. It's just like this light color and it comes with this little pad. Pretty basic, but I think it's important to keep a powder on you because you never know. My hairbrush from the dollar store. Are you ready for this? Rapunzel. <laughs> I love it. I love it a lot. I used to have one of the little round foldy uppy brushes that fits in your purse a little bit easier, but I don't know where it is. I lost that whole makeup bag once and it was like the saddest day of my life and uh, I've been slowly rebuilding. A piece of a candy cane. Candy canes. My DS because where would I go without my DS? My passport, a pack of gum. This is the only gum I ever chew, by the way, the XL white one. It's just like the only taste that I like. I don't know why. I'm very picky when it comes to gum, but I really like this one. A bottle of Benadryl because you know, <laughs> I'm allergic to like everything, especially animals. I live in a house with four cats and a dog. So I mean, always gotta keep that Benadryl on me. My Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Touch of Spice. That's actually what I'm wearing right now. One of my favorite lipsticks ever. I think this is the last lip color I have in here. And and last but certainly not least, I actually did specifically save this until the very end because it is probably my favorite thing that I own. This is my agenda. I bought it from the calendar store. I don't know how widely spread the calendar store is, but they open up in my mall like during the months of December and January basically. And I love this agenda. I am the biggest agenda person ever. Like. I need to write things down physically. I need to have them in my hands. I always keep an agenda and I always make little notes. It's just always been something I have to do. So every year during like December, I always really look forward to buying a new one. So this is my 2016 agenda and I keep it and my little Sailor Mars pen on me at all times. So I am like really, really picky about my agendas. So when I finally find one that works for me, I like, I jump at that chance. So this one has this little pocket in the front here. I'll probably never use the pocket, but it's still cute. Got all these stickers in the front here for like different holidays and different like dentist appointments and veterinarian and doctor. It's, this one just a special day, like all these fun little cutesy stickers. And then what, what I really like about this is when you go to the actual like calendar, the months of the year, the spots are all really big. So I feel like I can write a decent amount in there. And then when you go to your days of the week, you have all this space here to write too. So you know what I mean? I really like, like to do this, especially because I, I am a radio producer, so things are very time sensitive in my job, so I can write like this time, and then this is what I'm doing, and then this time, and then this is what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So it, this is just like, this is my child. I am in love with this. And that's it, we're empty, look. All done. I know my bag is not as interesting as, you know, other people's are because it's just mostly garbage. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any ideas or requests for future videos, please let me know. As always, I would love to make them for you. Please subscribe if you have not already. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!